Well, we're at 3,000 subscribers on the Libre channel, and I want to make a play button to commemorate that. The first Libre play button. Now let's make a cool spiral pattern that goes right down the outer geometry of the play button. That should be pretty fun. Let's get started. So in the part modeling environment, I'm going to start by making a sketch on our top plane. I'm going to make an arc and another arc. And I'll use symmetry here, point, point, and here, point, point. I'll use a uh, coincident to get these points together. And then I'll go with 15. All right, we'll give this a radius of 15 and we'll give this a radius of 10. I can rearrange to get things a little bit more play button looking. We'll go with a, uh, actually before I do a sketch fillet, let me mirror, right? I'll mirror the body of this arc across my vertical axis and I'll mirror the body of this arc across our horizontal axis. Now I'll do sketch fillets from here to here. I'll go with a radius of 0.5 and then I'll do the same. So all of our corners are radius. The full outside of this is now smooth. I'll also grab a vertical and just do these outer arc points to make sure that we remain symmetric. Horizontal here. And we should have a totally symmetric play button. We have two degrees of freedom. We'll give this a width of six. And from point to point, we'll give this a height of three. And that should be our fully constrained play button sketch. We'll grab the ZX plane. I'll make a plane and we'll offset that a distance of 0.65 and apply. Now I can take this plane that I've just created and add in a point along our central axis. So we have this point that sits above our sketch at just the place that I want. I'll go with a loft. And I love a Libre being able to loft to specific points. Uh, what I'll do is I'll select my sketch, select my point, as you can see, and we'll add some tangencies here. On sketch one, we'll add a tangency of 0.5. Let's see if I can get away with a tangency of 0.75 on our, on our point, and I sure can. So I'll say okay to that. So here we have the sketch and what I'll do now is actually delete this bottom face. So let's say that this face that's in blue right now marks the outside of our play button that we want to have. And of course I want to have a raised spiral pattern on this blue face. And so we're going to get working on the spiral pattern. So to start off, I'm going to delete this bottom face, right? We go to surface, delete face. Okay. And that has uh, made this outer face a reference, like a plane or an axis is infinitely thin and it's only for reference. But we can thicken this back into a solid, into the shape that I want. So when I click thicken and I select my surface, I can say, oh, okay, I'll thicken this a distance of 0.05. And I'll actually do this on both sides, right? So we thicken 25 thou on each side of the surface. And that's our outside there. Excellent. Uh, so what I'll do now is actually create another surface from our bottom inside face with maintained associativity, just like that. So this is the section that I would like to add my spiral pattern to. And so I'll grab this plane, we'll create a sketch on it. I'll create a rectangle and we'll dimension this rectangle up. I'd like to give this an off-center dimension of about 0.05. We'll give this rectangle a total width of 0.03. From here to here, maybe I'll say 0.25 or 0.2, that works. And then from here to here, I'll say one. We'll deactivate the sketch. Now I wanna add a uh, spiral. And of course, we'll add a spiral off of the helical cut menu. We simply change height and pitch down to spiral. We'll give this 75 revolutions to make sure that I've uh, done enough. And then pitch will say 0.1. I'll choose a central axis running right through the middle of my play button. 
and now we'll make a helical or sh I should say spiral cut just like that so I'll say okay to that and there I have quite a actually a complex spiral cut I like it now I also have uh, some surfaces left over and I think I'd like to take my middle surface right so I have my inside surface here and then I have my middle surface here I'm going to take my middle surface and we're going to thicken that so we're going to say surface thicken and I'm going to thicken that point one actually seems really good but our arrows of course are pointing towards the outside so we'll reverse it so that our arrows are pointing towards the inside we're going to say okay to thicken that and uh, now we've been able to thicken our surface so let's work on making some sketches here and I'm going to hurry and save and now I'll uh, grab this top plane that I created and create a sketch on it. The first thing I'll do is create another arc and we'll again use the symmetry constraint axis point and point. We'll give this a radius of about 10. I'll position it right about where I think text should go along a path. I can also have used a construction arc if I would have liked, but we have this option when I go to sketch text and I type in a libre that I can go a long path and I can choose a path figure and convert path figures to reference figures. Let me adjust the spacing. So I'm going to try about 1.25 for spacing and see how that goes. That's about perfect. And I'll change my offset. I like my lines running right through the middle of my text if I can do it. And uh, I'll apply that. Next, I'll also create an arc. And I'll go with symmetric. Point and point. And we'll make that well, about 10 again. I think that's pretty good for text. I'll also give this a horizontal dimension. 2.08 is about right. And then I'm going to say vertical for this arc as well. And then I'll add sketch text here and I'll say 3,000 subscribers, there's our path, and we'll convert path to reference figures. Adjust the spacing once again, and we'll need to adjust the size. That looks about right, maybe 1.125. Maybe 1.12. And uh, yeah, that's good. So we're going to apply that. We'll close, deactivate, and I want to do an extruded cut. And I once again care about one of my surfaces, the one that isn't running around this outside here now, but the one that's running right there, right? Surface from face. Notice we have one face to work with. So I'm going to say, uh, select my sketch, extrude. All right, so we're going to say, instead of two depth, we're going to take this to geometry, and we're going to pick a target. Our geometric target, of course, will be our surface here. All right, so we're going to say OK on that, and we have created, if I, if I go to hide my surface here, and hide. All right, we've created text that has a floor. Now we have a hollow play button. So what do we do about that? Well, I think there's a pretty easy solution. We're going to go to remove face and remove this face. Now this is different than delete face, right? Remove face will fill in the areas where the face is removed. And now we have a play button that is no longer hollow on the inside. Next, I'll probably want to add a little play symbol that play buttons have. And that will get rid of this uh, spiral termination as well. I think it'll make it look better. So all I have to do is create three lines 
and then create three construction lines, go midpoint to the origin. My next one will go to another midpoint. And then my next one will go to the last midpoint. And really all I have to do is set these to be equal, right? So I make equal, equal, equal. And then maybe I'll adjust the position of this a little bit. And I'll say equal, equal, equal. And uh, we're adjusted in every way except for one degree of freedom, right? This overall size. So bring a dimension over here. I think two is fine. We'll uh, deactivate and I can extrude and I can blind in if I'd like, or I can terminate it at that surface that I used before. I think I kind of like the idea of a blind extrude myself. So we have a flat bottom. I'm gonna call this a mid plane extrude. So we can eliminate that spiral sitting over that hollow section and uh, maybe Point one two five something like that. We'll see how how that looks. Yeah, that's not bad. So we'll say okay on that. And there we have an Alibre three thousand subscriber play button. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next one.